Hey everyone, Michael from Xano here. In this tutorial, I wanna take some time to talk about uh, formatting time and all the cool and different ways we can do that in Xano. So Xano will store a timestamp as a Unix timestamp in milliseconds. So it'll look, at, look like a very large number. So for example, let me just pull a record here from my database table. You can see this created at field is just a very large number. It's the amount of time in uh, milliseconds since January 1st, 1970. Right, it's an exact time. But with Xano, we can actually uh, pull that timestamp and format it in a human readable format or whichever format we could possibly want in it uh, to send it to our front end to be displayed in a nice way. So if you actually go to our documentation and find the date and time section, uh, there's a bunch of great information here. And if we actually scroll down to the bottom and see uh, this section, what are my options for formatting date and time, uh, there is this link to php.net. And if I go to this tab over here, it's going to look something like this. Um, so what we're seeing here on the left side are all these different characters, uh, the description of what they mean, and just an example return value so you can visualize that. Um, so we can actually combine these to make date and time look however we may want in Xano. So for example, let's go ahead and back to Xano and into my function stack. I have this update variable function here, and all I'm doing is using dot notation on my variable to get that created at timestamp field to update it by itself. But now I'm just gonna apply a filter to it and it's gonna be a format timestamp, which we can find right here. So you can see this format timestamp filter has a couple different fields. First, format, and this is where we actually put those characters uh, from that PHP list. And then time zone, if you need to specify time zone. Um, and our documentation also has where you can find the time zones that will work uh, right in here and sometimes you might even be pulling that from a database. But anyways um, For example with formatting. I know that this lowercase r is a shortcut um, If we go to the bottom here of the, our list, we can see it's RFC 2822 formatted date It gives us this nice formatted uh, Time and date. So if I actually go ahead and run this we can see that we get this nice long uh, formatted Tuesday, 17 May. We even have the time and the offset, etc. cetera. Um, so that's a little shortcut, but I wanna show you some other examples where we're actually creating uh, our own format. So for example, if I do something like lowercase m dash d uh, dash y, and I go ahead and hit update and save that, and I actually have this written down. Normally I would actually need that list to go back and look. We can see that that says uh, 05, 17, 22, so May 17, uh, 2022, right? And let's look at another example. So I'm gonna go back into this function and let's change the format again. So I'm going to do a lowercase l. I'm gonna put a comma in here, capital F, lowercase j, capital S, and we'll do a uppercase y. And let's hope that I had those right from my notes. And if we run this, we can see we get now uh, Tuesday, May 17th, 2022. So as you can see, I can start chaining some of these um, and even include different characters like comma, dashes, slashes, etc., cetera, uh, to get my date, and form, uh, my date and time formatted however I would like. So let's go back in here and do another example. I could even uh, just do time, for example, if I just want to do uh, H, I uh, and then S and I actually want that a lowercase I right here Hit Update save This should give me the time so that H was the hour um, I was the minutes and then S was the seconds and Then I could even add Let's say an a in here and I believe that gives me a.m. or p.m. You can do an uppercase or lowercase a, depending on how you want AM or PM to look. Um, and we can still even add the actual date in here. So let me go right in front. We'll do M slash D, and we'll do an uppercase Y this time. And I'm even going to add, if we go back into this list, uh, I should have down here, uh, it looks like an uppercase O, which actually gives me uh, an offset right there. So we can know what time zone that is when it's being displayed. Uh, here, we're actually also defining the time zone as UTC at that moment. 
So I believe that should just be um, all zeros. But as you can see, we're formatting time exactly how we want it now. So once again, um, that's just a quick few examples, but you can review this list and however you want your date and time to be displayed, you can take a timestamp in Xano and get it pretty much exactly how you want it. I don't see any reason with all these awesome combinations, um, right? I even did this capital S earlier to get um, ST, ND, RD, right? After an actual uh, day. And then just real quick, um, I also just wanna show, we were just updating a, a single object. It's always good just to show how to update a list uh, because it does require an extra step with the for each loop. So for example, here I'm pulling all the records with the query all records. I'm doing a for each loop through that variable. We're gonna call it item. And now in here, um, and this is actually wrong, see? So I need to actually update item dot created at, because we're in this loop, we wanna do it for each item. Let's say item dot created at. And now I'll add a filter. Let's see format timestamp. I'm gonna use my trusty lowercase r. So I know that's a nice, easy format right there. So now all the timestamps in my list will get updated in that format that I specified. So once again, when dealing with a list, make sure to incorporate the for each loop. Uh, and then within that for each loop, make sure you're using that loop variable um, to update that. So I just wanted to show that always a good reminder. Uh, once again, this uh, list of all these different characters is found in our documentation under date and time, along with a bunch of other good information. But hopefully you found this uh, tutorial helpful and hopefully you learned something about how you can uh, format timestamps into whatever format you would like it. And so if this video is helpful, please go ahead and like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel.